How good a friend was your, your bridesmaid? My best friend. Best friend uh, for 17 years. So this is Anne. So you've been best friends and of course you want her as your bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. You've got the dresses, you're all sorted and then she tells you, oh, I'm pregnant and I'm going to have yeah. a baby very Correct. close to your wedding. So what did you yeah. think about that? What was, what was the complication for you? Uh, a number of things. I've witnessed new mums be part of wedding parties in the past and I'd seen all of the focus shift from the bride to the new mum. Uh, obviously then it changes all the arrangements, the schedules to try and accommodate, you know, breastfeeding, babies needing looked after. I didn't want the focus to shift away from me and my husband-to-be on our wedding day. Um, I didn't want her baby to be part of the wedding party because I really don't agree with children being at weddings. But I didn't see how it would be possible otherwise because obviously she would need to feed the baby, she would need to be with the baby while performing her bridesmaid duties. OK, so those are all your reasons why, and yeah. I understand some of those. How on earth do you say to your best friend, I don't want you there now? We have always had a really honest relationship um, and she took it amazingly well, was really understanding. And I, I explained it to her just as I've done to you. I told her that I didn't want the focus to be on her, I wanted it to be on us. I also didn't want her to be under pressure to have to get into a dress seven weeks after giving birth. Mm. I didn't want that to be on her mind. I wanted her to enjoy her baby as much as I didn't want the worry that she wouldn't fit into the dress after seven weeks. Um, and I was really, really blunt with her, really honest, as we've always been in our friendship. And she was incredibly understanding and okay. agreed to be my witness instead so right. that she could still be there but not have a... OK, a sort of so she was understanding. Group. Before I bring our guests in the studio in for their, their comments, Emma, what yeah. was the reaction from the guests at the wedding when they heard what you had done? Um, I had quite mixed reactions. My husband was really supportive. He completely agreed. The other bridesmaids were on board. They understood where I was coming from. But I did have one colleague who told me I was being completely selfish. Um, it did raise eyebrows. Um, I'm sure people talked about it behind my back. But, you know, I wouldn't have made the decision if I didn't really believe it was the right thing for us. You, and for you, said, but you, said, you said you felt like a cross between Cruella de Vil and the child catcher <laughs> from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Well, that was more to do with not having children at the wedding in general. We okay. did get quite a bad okay. reaction. Well, let's, let's get Sally. Right Let, no from, an ed, from an etiquette point of view, first of all, Grant, mm. children at weddings. I think people will be surprised what you think about this. I mean, for me, a wedding is having children there. Now, I'm a huge believer that children should be seen and not heard on occasions. And at a wedding, it's the perfect time to have children because it's a family thing. So to have a wedding and not invite your friends' children or even family children... But they are heard. That's they, the problem. Well, they are, they are absolutely. And I think when they are, what I kind of encourage people is that if you know that your child's going to be particularly noisy, either think about that in advance and maybe don't take them along or take them along and actually have a plan that you can actually have somebody take them out of the church for a little while, bring them back mm. in, work a way around it. I do agree these services can be quite long but it, they need to under, they need to learn about this they need to understand that what weddings involve and helps uh, them under socially and yes. yeah. know how to behave at certain mm. occasions sally's going oh no <laughs> <laughs> not at five or two the child's never going to remember that wedding most of them unless they're incredibly impeccably behaved and even the most impeccably behaved aren't going to keep it going for five hours to time which is often mm -hmm. the length of time that a wedding goes on. I've been to so many weddings that have been semi-ruined. I was one the other day where the little girl, who was actually the daughter of the bride, um, was wandering around the altar during the vows and trying to pull the altar cloths off. And I thought, any moment now, there's going to be a large cross or candlestick hit to, that child on the head. To ban your daughter, the daughter <laughs> of the bride, no, from but, the wedding. No, no, That's but quite no, tricky. no. But I think I think what Sally's saying is a lot of people are reluctant, and I'd be interested in Grant's view on this, to scoop the child up and remove mm. them oh, from the scene absolutely. of the crime or whatever. I think I've, if you've got a, say, a, a cousin or somebody who knows the child mm. well, I think their job, if you've got to have a child there or if it's the bride's mm -hmm. daughter, scoop it up, take it outside, play with it, but have somebody there to do it. Well, Don't have them uh, reeling horribly and going but, right but over the vows. Sally and Emer, we do have to say, I mean, we've run this poll this morning, 88% of people who took part in this disagree <laughs> with both of you on this, Emer. Well, that good for them. If that's what they want for their wedding day, go for it. But I don't think people who don't want children should be castigated for that. Um, 
Are you married, Sally? I am married. What was your wedding like? Did you have children uh, there? We didn't have children there. And um, I explained very carefully to, children, to friends with young children or children of any age why we were doing it. It's amazing how many of them said, oh, that's great, I'll just get Grandma to look after the child. They came, they had a wonderful time, let their hair down, danced, ate, drank, didn't have to keep waiting for the next tantrum. That's the thing, Grant, a lot of parents do say, oh, great, you know, night off or weekend they away do. without the children. They do, and I mean, again, with, as you know, with weddings, sometimes the guest list, you can't have too many children because of because of ruining things but i think if you want a wedding without children i mean I, again i would suggest you go on a, a desert island or go to another planet because <laughs> it's really difficult to plan a wedding and as we've, we've just had it can cause fallouts with with very close friends that you know hopefully you can come through it but some people i have heard have never got over the fact that they haven't been you know somebody hasn't been invited or their children haven't been invited so it's, you, a, it's a it's a very tricky make it quite clear though why mm. the child why no children are there i think if you've got a blanket ban on blanket children ban. no one's going to take it seriously take it personally if you allow a couple of children and then everybody else is banned then they really resent that's it that's the dangerous bit I mean I really admire Emmett for sacking her bridesmaid I wouldn't have had the, <laughs> the guts I was going to say that's, the, that's no, that, really that's... brave